Hello and welcome to Sensei Podcast. This is Manos Brilakis discussing with leaders in the field of CTO and complex PCI. Sensei means teacher or master in Japanese. The goal of the Sensei Podcast is to help you learn and improve in CTO and complex PCI so that you can become the best that you can be and offer your patients the best possible results. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sensei Podcast. It is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Mikhailo Kovacic from uh, the County Hospital in Tsakovets in Croatia, who has been a, a phenomenal proponent of CTOPCI. He actually has made his own uh, book of the CTOPCI equipment, which is uh, very, very useful. And uh, again, it's a pleasure, Mikhailo, to have you uh, in the podcast today. Yeah. Hello to everybody, and it's a great, great honor and pleasure for me to be here on this podcast. Mikhailo, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get involved into CTO PCI? How did this all happen for you? Uh, I'm like, like I said before, it's a great honor to be here. I'm a little bit younger than most of your great sensei masters that you interviewed before. But uh, the, the actually, I'm, I'm doing interventional cardiology uh, seven or eight years. So the first time uh, when, I, when, I, uh, when I was introduced in that, that way, uh, it was in Zagreb when I was in my interventional fellowship. So uh, I worked there with my first teacher, uh, Professor Boris Starcevic, and he is my great friend today. And we are working together today in some cases. And uh, actually, the first person who introduced us, because uh, there was a proctoring organized in Croatia, uh, the first guy who introduced us to the uh, complex and retrograde and every hybrid CTO is actually Paul Knappen from Amsterdam. So we we know each other from there. And uh, it was the beginning of some era. uh, In Croatia, there was no uh, complex uh, hybrid CTO program, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago. Uh, There were only proctoring, so Paul Knappen was coming here. He was, uh, actually, he started two proctorship uh, in in, in that hospital, so it was was his beginning of the proctorship. So before that, uh, George Sianos was coming here in Zagreb, Croatia, so we started to build our program in, in our country. We were limited with uh, equipment uh, back then, but uh, today the, 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 the whole situation is rapidly uh, developing. And, and fortunately for our patients and for ourselves, we nowadays we, we, can, we can really uh, do amazing stuff, I believe. And we have all the equipment and it's, it's, it's one great uh, opportunity for the patients and, and, and for us also. So you were in your training and you got exposed to CTO PCI, you know, through Paul and George. How, um, but then from training to getting your own program, that's obviously, you know, takes quite a lot of time and effort. So how did that work? Did you learn something in the original uh, training where you were in Zagreb and then you put it over to your current hospital? Did you learn it after you moved? How, how did, when did you actually learn to do it yourself and become more of an independent operator? Uh, most, mostly I'm, uh, I'm, I can say I'm a hard, hard working enthusiast about uh, this kind of the procedure. So mostly I'm self, uh, I'm, 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 I learn to do the majority of the things uh, by myself. I'm, I was watching, of course, I, I was reading your phenomenal books. I was, I was attending uh, numerous uh, live CTOs, uh, numerous uh, uh, <coughs> meetings and everything life cases uh, i was doing a lot of uh, for example my home i in in my in my previous uh, apartment i was doing a lot of treadmill uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, room bicycle and uh, i was i i went through the hundreds and hundreds of videos of why uh, life cases of of meetings of webinars and and last years i'm attending to 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 almost uh, to almost every CTO uh, meeting that I can, so uh, I'm actually the with, with the help of my professor Starcevich and we we will work together and with the help of Paul. Uh, but the mo- most of the cases, most of everything that I do today, I'm 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 I teach to myself. I. I 
I checked all the details about materials, all the books, all the papers, all the techniques, and I tried. And uh, in in the end, I developed the complex in CTO program in my county hospital, when uh, when uh, where I am uh, head of the cat lab. So uh, it was a nice opportunity for my former boss uh, that uh, he in uh, he. He he uh, set me free to to develop everything so to 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 make my passion through. So last years we were trying to build this uh, th- uh, this uh, <clears throat> this way of treating because uh, in men in many countries uh, near me, for example, Slovenia, Austria, and uh, there is no uh, developed CTO programs. I I'm I'm fortunate to to have some good friendship with 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 to achieve great friends with in Italy in Switzerland in Germany so but uh, we are trying to build uh, build this uh, new program uh, the opportunity for our patients to 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 have all three vessels and uh, it it is really hard but when I I truly believe when when this is your passion when this is your when this is your uh, w- be- true belief that uh, you can help the patients that you can make some difference in your area, which is, you know, I'm, I'm not living in Minneapolis or, or New York, but I live in small county, a uh, small, small county in northern Croatia. So uh, it's, it's maybe harder, but, but it can be done. It can be done with a great passion, with a great effort. It, it, can, be, it can be achieved, uh, everything I believe. So... That's how it started. Perfect. And clearly, yeah, clearly, and clearly you've done, you know, a great effort. And actually, I'm fascinated from the fact that you learned a lot of this, as you said, through the meetings and looking at videos, because, you know, many people watch the same meetings and the same videos, but not everyone is able to apply it into the Mm -hmm. standard practice. So how difficult do you find it when you see a technique? Let's see a retrograde, whatever, any technique, and then you're trying to do it yourself. Have you run into problems? How did you troubleshoot? How did you actually get it to work? Uh, in my in my hospital, we we have a teacher before that we we started our interventional program a few years back. So uh, it it it's really hard. It needs passion. It needs effort. Uh, but. Uh, like I said from beginning, that that's why I I started to build my uh, CTO toolbox uh, project uh, in about five years ago. So I I realized that I probably I probably uh, I'm into so, uh, I I'm I'm saying it like some new school interventionalist. Some you know I I was trying to uh, implement in my cat lab. Which started from the beginning. I'm I uh, w- w- with my former boss. Uh, we developed the most of the cat lab uh, way of doing today from the beginning, from the scratch. So we we, we went to uh, all the meetings, all the other cat labs in Europe, uh, and I'm trying all the time to implement the best things. You know, for patent hemostasis for the ra- for the radial for for every single major step, it has to be by the books. Uh, n- not like uh, our old professors told us, but by the books, uh, Lege Artis in Latin. Uh, so I, I truly believe it's the the real the it's the real way to do some things uh, in in smaller country in in new cat labs that that you can develop some great stuff if you know. Uh, details if you know techniques if you know uh, if you are passionate if you are very careful if you count every uh, every complication so uh, it was a it was a lo- long way to go but uh, we are trying to we are tr- we, we for example uh, every every stuff every, everything that we do uh, we're trying to do it by the books you know it's uh, for example, radiation protection, uh, everything, hemostasis, uh, from puncture to the to the closure, every every by, everything by the book. And and fortunately, I can say fortunately, sure. the overall rate of complications and benefit for our patients uh, it pays off. You know, when I'm 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 doing also uh, I'm I'm watching from my beginning. I'm I'm I, I'm. I will be in th- uh, 
few months, 40 years old. I'm watching from my beginning for my back, for my radiation, for everything. I'm doing with zero gravity every my CTO procedures like you. So uh, I, I truly believe that uh, this leggy artist medicine is uh, re uh, the, the modern way to do it. So 3.75 frames per second. We recently published our paper with Gabriele Gasparini about that. So I'm routinely doing every CTO, every, uh, the, my whole team is doing every complete cat lab work in 3.75 frames per second. So I, I have to publish my paper last uh, 88 CTOs done below one gray air karma. So all, all those points. And with my book, I realized that uh, you have to really know about details, about materials. You have to, you have to know every wire, every micro catheter. And, and I'm, I'm having lectures through some various meetings. I'm lucky to be invited as faculty on great CTO meetings. So, uh, Every lecture about very details about microcatheters, wires, everything can make. I, I truly believe that it it can make difference in in the contemporary or future uh, CTO PCI. So it's my real passion, and I'm looking forward to develop it further. So I'm fascinated actually by your commitment to radiation safety because not everyone is as careful as you are, and. Uh, uh, you know, as you say, you're involving, so you're using less radiation frame, less frames per second, which makes perfect sense, but many people are hesitant of doing it. Have you had any difficulty with, uh, first of all, using the low frame rate? Can you still see the wire okay, number one? And number two, how long did it take you to get used to the zero gravity? Because some people try to use it and they get frustrated using that. Uh, yeah, great points. Uh, the, like I said, uh, the whole team was completely uh, adapted brain brain and eyes to the 3.75 in my cat lab so i it's no big deal for epicardial zoo 03 epicardial navigating everything i'm doing really everything every cto procedure is 3.75 frames per second on modern machines you can achieve below one gray air karma for ev for almost every patient uh so uh it's it's it, Maybe I'm I'm a little bit younger, and uh, I was playing the from my childhood 3D computers games all my all my life from early 90s. So uh, uh, I, I believe that it really helps helped for me to to develop some some visualization of 3D navigation in in epicardials, retrograde, everything. So uh, I believe uh, that that's okay. Uh, that that's a benefit for me. Uh, to, to have developed 3D, uh, 3D uh, space orientation. And regarding zero gravity, I think in my, uh, I tried Rampart and everything, but zero gravity is probably the best, uh, the best, uh, the, uh, the best protection for the, for the operator himself. So in my real, in my everyday practice, I, uh, I don't, honestly, I don't have limitation to do CTOs, even rotablation, everything. It's it's really not not the problem. So the the for, for me personally, the adjustment time was was maybe uh, I don't know few procedures, one to three procedures, no, nothing mad. It's okay. really no problem. And uh, so, and again, maybe it helps that you're open minded. But yes, this is beautiful. Now, how do you deal with complications? I know that you know you do a very good job of preventing them, but they can still happen even in the best hands. So, um, how do you deal with them? And then, do you have any cases that good or bad that have stuck with you over the years? Um, I'm obviously not so experienced like you in most of the interviews before, but uh, you 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 mentioned it's okay. I'm trying to prevent them. That's my that's my first goal. To prepare for the case, to see all the possibilities, to uh, and to go. Uh, I'm in CTO PCI. You know, I have my own philosophy. It's elective case. I I don't have to push it. I don't have to push it through the wall. So if I have some some cases that I uh, touch the cap or feel the patient or fear the collateral or something like that, and if I'm not successful. I'm more prone to stop the procedure, to, to reschedule the patients, to evaluate the, the whole scenario, to maybe to, uh, to build up some different, uh, different uh, strategy. And uh, 
in in most of our cases uh, when I'm not successful in for example anterograde or some other cases and patient is exhausted I'm not trying to push the procedures on four hours five hours ten hours I'm try I'm I'm more prone to stop the procedure to reschedule the patient and to to make some other safe strategy so uh, of course for every complications if you do epicardials if you do you you know with my which microcatheters do you need which wire do you have to go through that micro uh, you have to have some coils you have to have some skills uh, experience to know how to to deploy coils uh, every other uh, i had some some tough cases but but uh, but i can say that the overall maybe statistically overall uh, complications and deadly complications uh, I, I truly believe with a great knowledge of the materials and techniques it can be uh, it can be reduced to, to, to almost below statistically in what we see in the paper so uh, that that that's my philosophy so uh, unfortunately i'm i don't i don't have you know 300 ctos per year like some some of my good friends but uh, my goal, my goal today is uh, I'm proctoring in, in my country in some other hospitals now, and my, my today today numbers of CTOs per year, CTO PCI is about sixty to seventy eighty maybe. <clears throat> this is this is my this is my real uh, real number. Maybe one hundred per year will be will be my my goal. But uh, with complications, it's you know it's. You know the best. It's always hard to explain the family how how could you prevent the, the the complications to the elective patient. He came into the hospital on his legs and now he's maybe dead or I don't know. It's it's really hard. But uh, unfortunately, the rate of the complications when you are careful when you when you're dealing with materialists in the way it, they supposed to be dealt with. I think that the majority of the complications can be can be. Uh, eliminated so sure now when it comes as you said you're now teaching some other people to do this what do you find the most difficult thing to teach is it the wire the microcatheter the thinking what is the thing that you find the most challenging yeah you know uh, in in my small country there is a very very few people who who are, who are uh, willing to teach complex, you know, hybrid CTO PCI? Because uh, I think that uh, I saw some of the interviews and with the, with the great teachers, great great operators, and they they really meant it. Uh, they they really uh, had a point that uh, I think in CTO PCI everything that you need is not uh, you know. Luck is okay, small part, but you need passion in you. You you need to invest in yourself. You need uh, to, uh, you you need to uh, read. You need to watch unlimited uh, videos, unlimited techniques. You need to read and you need to invest in yourself. And it's really hard in real practice that you, for example, you 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 are working with ten interventional cardiologists, and uh, you you are proctor on some CTO meetings and they <clears throat> small amount of the people uh, get the difference between you know gladius mongo and ex it's, it's really hard for the people the the the, the my first the, like i mentioned before the paul knapp and uh, he uh, he teach me firstly to do some complex cases and when i introduced in when I introduced to him my first book, he told to me one funny uh, thing that that was in CTO Plus in New York uh, four years back. He told to me that uh, you know this is full, uh, that was first edition. It's it's not it, it was it, it it didn't have uh, purpose, tips and tricks and everything. It was a li little bit like demo project of mine. So, but it has uh, characteristic. It has. Uh, 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 it has a uh, construction and some tips, some, some, so he, he told to me, you know, international cardiologists are uh, lazy. They don't read. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a phone book. Nobody will, will read it. So <laughs> he, he got a good point. You know, you have, you, you, you really need, I, I believe that to be uh, passionate and fanatical to do this job and, and to read all these, all these things, all the, to, to know, 
to know re- little difference about the wires, a little difference about the microcatheters, dual lumen microcatheters, to know to know some some cha- some difference between those devices, and and that's why that's why I realized in in my early interventional days that. Uh, if you know if you know what are you having in your hand by the details by the construction details uh, engineering details and everything i i really believe that it make it it can make some difference so i'm trying to put that book a little bit uh, you know uh, th- this is real my passion so for example one wire the detailed cons- construction is described in in the book so tips uh, purpose as I can imagine, with my contributors, every every indications, every tips and tricks, some some unconventional tips and tricks that you ca- you, you could you cannot learn from uh, brochures and you, you you have to learn it from from life cases from from your practice to to so that 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 is my goal to to give the, the young passionate operators. Uh, the, that tactile uh, feedback from each device and uh, um, it's 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 my wish to to develop further third fourth fifth edition and uh, like like some of my friends are I, uh, and, and they saying <clears throat> that uh, new book uh, from manual C- CTO step by step from uh, third edition from Relaxis it's uh, it's it's great great source for learning CTO is it's it's amazing book so I I, I want uh, my book I uh, I seeing my book like a companion to your book you know with with more uh, with, with more uh, details about materials it's it's a real I, I believe it's a real companion uh, for the people and uh, so I'm trying to to teach the younger sure. guys in, in in other hospitals but uh, but uh, Unfortunately, small amounts sure. of people are are willing to to go in into the deep. Sure, and I think we've seen that in other places that not everyone is willing to take the time and energy it takes. And out of the ten people you teach, maybe two or three will actually develop and make a robust to your program. But again, I'm fascinated by your book. Again, it's a phenomenal work. I know it took a lot of effort, and you've really put it uh, very nicely together. What? made you want to do this what uh, what did you decide to it's a big effort as you said i took many you know months years of work uh, what motivated you to do this book yeah yeah i can have it here <laughs> so uh like 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 i said perfect i i was trying to maybe actually keep it there for a second people can see it if you keep it for a second on the camera people can see it a little bit more there you go. Yeah, so it's a perfect again. CTO toolbox, great book, and uh, um, has essentially all the equipment that we use for CTO PCI, as you heard, with a lot of tips and tricks. Very, very well done. Clearly, uh, a labor of love and a lot of passion there. So, what motivated you? It's it's really it's really like I said before. It's a way of uh, passion. It's a way of uh, you know. I have two small kids and. I have my my time from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. when they were they was asleep, asleep. So this is my time, you know. I put my I put headphones, Spotify, and and I make my research. So it's really the 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 point until today. This is uh, about four years of work, four years of work work on that book, and I'm I'm constant constantly updating it. So uh, that my my. Uh, uh, my my one of my teachers told me, uh, you know that wire couldn't pass. I took another wire, and this is some some more slippery wire, whisper wire. He didn't know why he chose it. it. It's more slippery. But so when I was starting to do some more complex cases, <clears throat> I realized that uh, I have to know about those devices. So. It started four years back. Uh, I made fo- only for so. It started four years back. Uh, I made fo- only for myself in the word word documents. You know, Sion Blue, uh, Fielder XTA, uh, Gaia Second. I made deep load, uh, hydro coating. Is it hydro filling? Is it polymer jacket? I I, I built for myself these these notes in 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 Word. So I printed, I printed. 
PTCA wires, 20 wires. I developed for myself this, this small script, like in, in the cat lab. And after that, it, it went through the microcatheters in dual lumen. So we have, we, we, at that time, we had only one dual lumen, fine dual. Uh, after that, we, and some balloons, some other specific devices. And, and when the program is developing, you add more and more. So in the uh, late 2020, I, I published, it's actually self-publishing, you know, it's, it's not a, it's, it's, it's one company, printing company, it's actually self-publishing, editing, everything. So the, the second edition is, uh, the first edition was some demo project for me and, and, and it grows and it grows and I have some collaborators, Kambis Mašejeki, Gabriele Gasparini, Alexander Avran and Pier Francesco Agostoni. So they helped me to do uh, some parts of the books uh, to, to some advice and, and, and to some tips and tricks. And again, it is, I, I wrote every single page in Word. I, tr I exported in PDF and at the printing company, one lady, a graphical designer, he, uh, she, made, she made that uh, design. And actually it's self-published. Everything is done by myself. So yeah, it's, uh, I find it great. And it's, 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 it's a great, great honor to see that uh, the people from all over the world uh, can have uh, some uh, some uh, benefit from that, and it it started from because it, like I said fr from the beginning, I really believe that knowing little difference about materials can 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 make us more successful with less complication, and finally the patient can can have better benefit. I think it's crucial in CTO PCI because CTO PCI is the, the most passionate thing in uh, endovascular medicine for me because in in, in my in my practice it's it's uh, probably the most uh, challenging probably it it took it uh, it took the most of the time to 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 do the to to be able to do hybrid complex retrograde epicardial CTO without complicate with with small amount of complications with great success in, in my eyes, it, it, it's the most fascinating uh, thing in cardiology for me, and uh, I'm really passionate about it. And then how do you keep yourself in good shape to do all this? To do your cases, teach people, do the book? What do you do? Uh, to, to be in shape, I'm driving a road bike, and I'm having an elliptical uh, machine in home, and... Uh, like I said, I watched the hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos before uh, former years doing elliptical and uh, cycling in in my mm -hmm. house. And uh, again, I'm I'm doing a cycling road bike in uh, hills where where I live. Uh, have some back pain, but uh, zero gravity is game changer for me for because of that. And uh, also, we we are trying to we are trying to teach the the younger younger fellows and everybody to to the way of the living. So it's a uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's good influence to the to the whole cat lab staff and everything. But uh, it's it's real balance, you know, family and kids and everything. So it's it's really tough and it's really tough and to to balance without to 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 not be with your child to. But you know, I'm 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 uh, I'm studying uh, coils in microcatheters, di direction of the coils when my kids are sleeping. So it's it's something like <laughs> I, I'm hoping that they are not uh, put back. So you make the most out of your time. It looks like, which is phenomenal. And then, do you have any favorite book or any favorite movie? Uh, f favorite book. Uh, I'm, I'm in cardiology book. <laughs> you know the answer. <laughs> or or no, any anything but, uh, cardiology or no cardiology. I'm. I'm uh, I have some. Uh, I'm really a movie guy. Maybe young, young, younger generation. I don't know. I I have a great passion for the music. I I listen a lot of uh, instrumental, experimental work, uh, singer songwriters, something like that. And uh, regarding movie, movies, I'm a really big uh, science fiction fan. 
so everything like you know I was raised on from the, from my early childhood in Star Wars movies and everything so really really uh, science fiction fan but but I l like also yeah the, the science f SF is my my love but uh, again other great great movies like I don't know Schindler's List and everything it's it's great but I have real passion for the music and I'm you know the, the majority of my books and everything that I done uh, I, I I did with uh, help of the Apple Music or Spotify so uh, researching a lot of music in my in my uh, on the YouTube YouTube I think the YouTube is the amazing source of the uh, research of the music today so with with uh, propositions of the new uh, music to playlists and everything so it's it's I think that, like, like Nietzsche said, the music without the life without music is uh, is nothing. So, I think it's uh, great to have the music and passion about that. Do, do you play music in the cath lab when you do cases? Uh, sometimes yes, but 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 not routinely. But uh, recently, I have planned to to have some new device and maybe some new 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 device to play music but uh, you know i'm i'm lis uh, sometimes i'm listening to a little bit strange music and the, the common the common folks are not uh, so <laughs> so friendly with my my music so <laughs> maybe the best not to not to not to put that music on the on the table sure. and then Mikhailo, what are you most proud of today personally or professionally Personally, of course, I, I'm most proud of my beautiful family and my wife, uh, my wife and my children. I have two beautiful children. Uh, they will be now six and ten. Uh, and professionally, I, I don't know. I I was raised from my from my parents. I was raised. I was raised to be humble. You know, every everything that you do, you need to be humble. And uh, it's it's really hard to talk about it, but. I can say I'm a, I'm a proud of uh, I'm a proud to be, I'm a proud to be um, younger generation, but uh, to have amazing friendships with uh, amazing operators. You know, I, I will be 40 now from Croatia. It's a great honor, personal honor to me. This moment to be in podcast with uh, Manos Brilakis. It's a it's a great honor for me to be friend with. Uh, uh, directors of uh, Touring CTO Summit, ML CTO, uh, Toby. Uh, it, it's it's really my, you know, the, the way that it makes me feel lucky and uh, it makes me happy to be, to, to, to hard work and fanatically hard work and, and humble humbleness, it really pays off. And, you know, I'm not a child from some politic, politi politician. I'm not... F I'm not a child from director of the hospital. It's it's really that it really makes me happy that that the pure passion and pure hard work can make uh, can make friendship win with the greatest operators in my field with with uh, like I said before with with you with everybody. So I'm I'm really really happy to to go to the New York City O Plus and to 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 speak there with 50 people like my friends and it's 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 really happiness professionally for me. So Mikhailo, you've done again phenomenal work building your own program, uh, creating your book, creating a lot of education regarding the field. If uh, you had to give uh, some advice to the people who are starting now, who are early in their learning care for CTO, what are the key things you would advise them to do to get their skills uh, in good shape? Yeah, that's a, that's always tough, and um, I'm I'm saying all the all the all the times to some fellows. I have some fellows that are very uh, enthusiastic and to to work hard to learn uh, to learn always to uh, to to th th this is uh, unlimited. You you cannot skip uh, knowledge. You in medicine that that. I, I believe that you know we, we are doctors, we are cardiologists. That med, med, you you don't have to be uh, Einstein for doing something. But uh, uh, the the problem with the medicine to to, to uh, the problem with the uh, top medicine is you cannot you cannot 
you, you, you cannot accelerate this. You, you have to put yourself into it. You have to put a lot of work, a lot of years of learning and studying. So, uh, and, and on, the, on the top of that, you have to be, uh, you have to be uh, careful. You have to be, uh, you have to be, uh, to not to have complications. You have to be, uh, everything d done by the book. You have to be humble. You have to always, uh, always trying to to make uh, better of of you that you are today uh, only hard work humbleness and uh, and clear focus uh, to build your mindset to do uh, CTO PCI because I, I I really believe that the hands are not the hands or maybe hands skill or something or luck it's that you have to build your mindset to be able to to be at the table four hours, to be straight, to 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 know. In CTO PCI, I think that the 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 the, the best weapon is to have uh, four three steps further. What to do next? What what complications? So uh, you you cannot skip you cannot skip you your learning curve. So you cannot you can you you can accelerate your learning curve only with a hard extremely hard work. And there is no, there is no uh, shortcut. Only hard, hard work, humbleness, and I, I really believe that I was raised by by that from my parents, and uh, it 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 shows it shows that this this is the way, I believe. Wonderful. Well, Mikhailo, again, I would like to thank you so much for taking the time today. Congrats on everything you've achieved. I'm very excited to see you at the next uh, meeting. Yeah, thank you very much. And again, it was an amazing honor to be with you here today. And and yeah, see you. See you on the next meeting. Right. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Sensei Podcast.